y'all, it's Rebecca. Welcome to another incredible day at the Kingdom Kids Puppet Show. We have Goliath here, and Felix is back with us too. Hey guys. We are so excited that you're here today. We've been talking about determination this month and how you can get unstuck. And remember, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Right. It can be tough for us to get unstuck from some sticky situations, but God is always there to help us. This week, we're going to be learning about Peter and John causing quite a stir when Peter healed someone in the name of Jesus and shared his message. Even though they were arrested and had to stand trial, Peter and John showed determination. They made it clear that no matter what happened to them, they would continue sharing Jesus with others. This week's bottom line is to keep going even when it gets tough. The Bible, it's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapters 3 and 4. John found himself nearly skipping as he and Peter made their way up toward the temple. More than 3,000. More than 3,000 people are following Jesus I've now. I've never seen anything like it. The way people are sharing their homes, their food. Every day a few more people believe. This tell the whole world gig is going more smoothly than I expected. As Peter and John approached the temple gate, they saw a man lying on a mat. Please help me. We'll call the man Ezra. For his entire life, he'd been unable to walk a single step. Could I have a few coins for food? Peter and John looked directly at the man. Peter could feel the power of God's spirit rising inside him. Look at us. Ezra fixed his gaze at the disciples and held out his hand. I don't have silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. Peter reached out and took Ezra's hand. Instantly, his feet became strong. He leapt to his feet. Wait, what? How? He took a step, a skip, a hop, and a jump. Praise Jesus! Ezra began to dance and spin around. This guy couldn't even walk 10 minutes ago. And as you might guess, a big crowd gathered. Peter called out loudly. Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. God has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. This man, whom you see and know, was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Wowzers! So turn away from your sins and turn to God. Then your sins will be wiped away. But while the crowd was wowed, the religious leaders were fuming. They sent the captain of the temple guard to arrest Peter and John and sent them to prison. Preach it to the rats, boys. What's that you said about things going smoothly? God's Holy Spirit is still with us, even here. The next day, a group of religious leaders, including the high priest Annas and his family gathered together. They ordered the guards to bring Peter and John before them. By what power did you do this? And through whose name? Peter didn't hesitate. Rulers and elders, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? Peter gestured to where Ezra was standing, not far off, watching. Ezra did a little two-step. The religious leaders glared. You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross. But God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. If mics had been invented, Peter would have dropped one right there. The leaders glowered and Anna's cleared his throat. Leave now and never come back until we call for you. Once Peter and John had been taken out, the leaders grumbled to each other. The nerve. These are common men. With no training. 
So bold. I hate to say it, but... Say what? Well, the way they talk. You can tell they've been with Jesus. <laughs> but what can we do with them? Everyone in Jerusalem knows they performed a miracle. We can't say it didn't happen. This stops here. It stops now. We give them a warning. Never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Ah, yes, that's it. Peter and John were brought to stand before the religious leaders again. You must never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Yes, or, or, or else. Peter and John exchanged a glance. They knew these leaders had the power to lock them up, or even kill them. Which is right from God's point of view? Should we listen to you? Or should we listen to God? You be the judges. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Ooh, just don't do it! The leaders couldn't find any reason to keep Peter and John in prison. So they finally let them go. Yes! Exploding fist bumps, my bros! Peter and John returned to their friends and shared everything God had done. Through the power of God's spirit, the number of believers had now grown to more than 5,000. In the end, Peter and John went back to their friends and told them about everything God had done. Lots of people who had seen the healed man and heard Peter's message about Jesus put their faith in him. The number of people who had decided to follow Jesus had grown to about 5,000. Things have been pretty tough for Peter and John. They even were thrown in prison just because they were telling others about Jesus. But they were able to have determination because they knew something important, which is also true for us today. You can keep going, even when it gets tough. Let's pray and ask God to help us to do that. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our Savior. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit when we put our faith in you. It's so cool to see how Peter and John trusted you. They kept going, even when it got tough, because they knew you were always with them. Please help us to have the kind of determination they did. Help us to keep going no matter what. We love you, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's the end of this week's lesson. Remember to be confident and be bold, because God can give you the courage that you need to take on tough things. Hope you guys have a good week. See you next time. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good, good to see you all. <laughs> we miss you, and we can't wait till we are all back together once again. Um, when things get tough, you can decide to make the wise, wise choice. choice. You can choose to keep giving your very best efforts and decide to finish what you've started. For example, if you've ever tried to learn to play a musical instrument, like the piano, for example, it seems like it would be so easy and so much fun, but it's actually really challenging, especially at first. You have to practice so much, but if you keep at it, you'll get better and better. That's a really good illustration, Shirley, and that makes me think about Peter and John, and when they were uh, with Jesus, things might have been a little bit easier for them, and then when they had to go out and tell the good news, Jesus was gone. And so, you know what, it was really on them to step out and be, take the lead. And they had to learn how to, to almost do what Jesus was doing and telling other people about him and doing miracles. And so it got a lot harder for them. And that reminds me of, of uh, some sports. And when I was a kid, like some of your guys' age, uh, I had a baseball glove and a baseball. And uh, I would go out in the yard and play catch with my dad. And you know what, it was it was a little bit easy because I was with my dad, but then I joined a baseball team and it got quite a bit harder because I had to, now I had to go up to the plate with my bat and all the eyes were, everybody was watching me and it was a little bit harder and I had to learn the rules of how to play baseball and I had to do uh, exercises and things like that to get better. And eventually I did get better and I got more used to it. And so it might have been hard at first. Um, and sometimes things you try, might, they might be a little easy at first, and then they uh, get harder. And uh, when that happens, when you get frustrated, 
don't quit. You want to keep going and uh, do that for God and, and with his help. Well, thank you. I agree with you, Nathan Shirley. Great examples. Um, why don't I review with you guys the memory verse, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Just like Nathan and Shirley said, keep going at it. Don't give up. It can get tough, but do not give up. And I'm going to remind you, Creative Art Contest is still ongoing. And the bundle of toys is getting larger and larger for each age group. So preschool and kindergarten, remember first week, I showed you this for either the boy or the girl, right? Second week, this is your choices. That's all for preschool, kindergarten. And this week, one of these will get into that bundle and I can hardly hold it now. Look at that, it's getting huge. And grade one and two's first week, remember that? And that second week's toys as part of the bundle. And now look at what we have for the third week that goes in with that bundle. Wow. Okay, great. Threes and fours, first week. Second week's toys from last week, if you remember it. Now, third week, we're adding this to the bundle. And our grade five and sixes, you're doing the memory verse poster. This is what you get from first week. The marbles, second week, check out the minions. And for third week, a big bottle of bubbles. Well, one more week to go. Next week, I'm gonna show you the last of the toys that goes in the bundle for each group. I'm gonna let Sarah take over now. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Chong, for showing us um, all the wonderful prizes that are up for grabs. All right, boys and girls, it's that time again. Put your left hand up, put your right hand up. We'll put them together and our heads are down. Big breath. Father God, we thank you so much for this time we get to spend with you in your word. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because your word is living and active. It is teaching us every day how we should be. Lord, I want to ask that you please bless each and every child who is watching and their families. Lord, they're going to come into some situations in the coming weeks that are going to be difficult, but please remind us all to keep going and not quit. Even when it gets hard, even when it gets frustrating, please remind us that you want us to keep going even when it's hard. Please be with us this week, and please remind us to encourage one another as we see our friends in hard situations too. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sarah. All right. We'll see you guys in a week's time. Bye. Bye. Bye.